This week on The Muse, Paris is awarded a Clean California grant for Copper Creek Park, bringing new renovations to an important park here in Paris. Plus, are you a pet owner? The city is now partnering with GPC Smart Campaign to bring smart ID tags to our residents, and Karina Espinoza has the full story. And the city of Paris hits a social media milestone, and we couldn't have done it without you. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse, and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. The City of Paris has been awarded Clean California grant funding in the amount of $2.8 million for Copper Creek Park. On Tuesday, March 1st, Governor Gavin Newsom announced underserved communities will receive Clean California grant funding to beautify and transform public spaces into points of pride. The efforts are part of a $1.1 billion Clean California program launched by Caltrans in July 2021 to include litter abatement efforts, beautification and safety projects, and public education campaigns. Copper Creek Park will see installation of a new walking path, a new irrigation system, picnic shaded tables, a butterfly garden with educational signs, and new public art pieces. Copper Creek Park is an 8.1 acre community park located less than a half mile from Paris High School. Copper Creek Park is open daily from dawn to dusk and is highly accessible by foot, bicycle, and vehicle. For more information or to provide additional feedback in the park improvements, please contact the Community Services Department. And are you a Paris resident and a pet owner? Well, you're gonna to wanna to hear this story. The Animal Services Division of our Code Enforcement team has partnered with GPC Smart Campaign to bring smart ID tags to the pets of Paris. For a quick look at all the details of this program, here's Karina Espinoza. Thanks, Stephen. The City of Paris Animal Control has partnered with GPC Smart ID Tag to provide free smart tags to Paris residents starting March 28th with GP Smart and Bring My Pet Home ID Tag that will replace our standard silver licenses. And this tag has a QR code in the back that a person can scan and the owner will be notified that their dog has, is loose or has been found and can be returned to the owner. And you can upload information about your dog, the rabies vaccination, a picture of your dog. It has a lot of cool aspects other than just a simple silver tag. It benefits residents by getting their pets home, less pets to the shelter, and it also saves times for the animal control officers and residents. The qualifications are the purchase of a license. You can come down to 227 North D Street and visit animal control with proof of rabies and proof of spay and neuter certificate. And also if your dog has a microchip, proof of that. If you already have a license, come down and we'll provide one for you because we already have all your information. We are open from seven to six, Monday through Friday. No appointment needed, just come on down. To learn more about animal control services or to license your pet, visit cityofparis.org. For Paris TV, Karina Espinoza. Thank you, Karina. The city of Paris is slated to receive $1 million in government funding legislation from HR 2471 for the Downtown Paris Training and Job Placement Center. This announcement comes after Representative Mark Takano voted to pass HR 2471 government funding legislation to help working families with the cost of living, create American jobs, and assist vulnerable communities, which includes $7 million in funding awarded to projects across Riverside County. The Downtown Paris Skills Training and Job Placement Center is expected to be a two-story, 13,700 square foot facility on approximately 3.5 acres of city owned properties at the northeast corner of First Street and D Street. The Skill Center will include meeting spaces, resources for job placement services, and classrooms that will be utilized by nonprofits, community colleges, and universities for certification or degree related skills training. Skills training and apprenticeship programs will also be available for displaced workers, veterans, disabled individuals, minorities, and females within Paris communities and the region. 
This legislation will next be voted on by the Senate and then signed into law by President Joe Biden. And now for a look at your five-day forecast, here's Karina Espinoza with the weather. Thanks, Stephen. Spring is here, which means we will experience some significant warming this week, with highs reaching the low 90s on Friday, cooling as we head into Monday. The wind will continue to blow mostly out of the west. There is a good chance parents will experience occasional rain showers on Monday, settling down as we get into the evening. So make sure and keep those coats and umbrellas handy if you are going to be outdoors. Stay safe, Paris. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Karina. Always welcome a little rain after a quick heat wave. Okay, on March 9th, building and safety manager Veronica Arana was a keynote panelist at the International Code Council, where she discussed how the city of Paris became the first city in California to establish a free residential building inspector certification program, partnering with Paris Unified School District back in 2018. The Residential Building Inspector Certification Exam gives the inspector the ability to inspect one and two family dwellings, townhomes not more than three stories in height, and accessory structures. With more than 250 participants, Arana was able to provide insightful information to help others start a similar program. And hey, do you have plans for this Friday? Come hang out on March 25th from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. for a night of exciting art and entertaining music at Depot After Dark's Paris Art Walk at the historic Santa Fe Depot in downtown Paris, located at 120 West 4th Street. Enjoy free access to more than 40 talented artists with live music and amazing food. If you or someone you know would be interested in participating in the bi-monthly Paris Art Walk as an artist, please contact the Paris Depot on Instagram at Paris Depot for more information. And lastly, the city of Paris is proud of our latest accomplishment and milestone achievement as our team recently passed 10,000 followers on Instagram. Our social media team looks to deliver city messaging in a variety of ways. And it seems that our Instagram platform is an effective means of doing so. Special thanks to everyone who follows the city of Paris on Instagram or any other platform. Don't forget to share a post and turn on those post notifications. We are truly appreciative of your engagement and support. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris, and subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale, and that's the muse.